Hey guys, it's Chloe, and today we're gonna to be making this super duper adorable little bunny rabbit habitat type thing for your American Girl Dolls pet. You do need a lot of things for this craft, so let's go ahead and get started with what you need. First of all, you're gonna need a pet for the cage, and I'm using a bunny rabbit, and this is from Lainey's collection. You can also use Julie's bunny rabbit, or a cat, or a stuffed animal, or whatever you want. I found this little cage at Target. It was $3 in their little dollar section area, but I've also seen one similar to this at Hobby Lobby and Michaels, and they have those year round. Or you could also just use a box. Then you will also need a blue marker. And I found this at Hobby Lobby. It's like some fake moss grass ribbon, um, but you can also find fake moss um, year round. If you can't find any though, you can also use just plain on green paper. I got that at Hobby Lobby and it's like fake moss, but it's in ribbon form. And then you're going to need some bottle caps. This is the bottle cap to simply orange orange juice, and I'm using it because it's a lot bigger. And then I have a small bottle cap, and this is from some fruit water, um, so I have a small one. And you need an empty thread for sewing if you guys have empty ones. That Two straws, preferably bendy straws. You're gonna need a lot of glue as well. I am going to be using um, hot glue mostly and I have lots of extra little tubes because it's a lot of glue. Some really good scissors and I have some Elmer's glue in the back over there because I might be using them, we'll see. And then I'm also using some fake um, flowers. The leaves are going to use the flowers, so I have the leaves. I have four popsicle sticks and you'll also need a Paper. You need two shades of brown, two shades of yellow, one sheet of green, and um, a pattern one of red. So now that we have everything, let's get started. So the first step is to actually plug in your hot glue gun so it can get started. But then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut a piece of your green paper. And if you don't have green, you can use brown for this part. You're going to want to cut it so that it fits right inside of your box or your little um, fence. And I'm going to use Elmer's glue for this. So as you guys can see, I have the green paper in the bottom of this. It did have to be a little bit smaller so I couldn't fit past this part, but it does fit around the whole thing. And now I'm going to cut sheets of this and hot glue it onto my box. So yeah. Now put in the moss ribbon. And as you can see, the green ribbon was, um, not the green ribbon, the green paper was important to put in because there are a few little holes so you can see it in some parts. And now what we are going to do is we are going to take some of the plant leaves and cut them up and put them in the corners. Here are the little leaves in the thing. I actually was just able to poke it through the moss um, and it worked fine. I'm only adding a little bit in the clump over here for right now, but at the end I might add a few more. So I'm now going to create almost like a little bit of hay to put in another one of the corners. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my two different colors of brown and just cut really thin strips. added a couple because I'm going to add the rest um, at the end and now we are going to create the food dishes and the water bowl for her for the bunny rabbit and what we're going to do is we're going to take so basically you're just going to take the empty thread container and glue this onto the bottom of it and I'm going to make some little markings on it with the blue marker and cut the bendy straw at the bend as the sucky drink, drink part.
the finished little drink water thing. Um, I think it turned out really cute and what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it right up here because you have to make sure it's not too far down. If it was too far down here it would be difficult for the bunny wrap to get a drink so I'm going to glue it on top of the poles. thing to do is if you had a second bottle cap to just glue it on top here but I don't have one I might have one um, in the future but for right now there it is and so in one corner we have the little shards over here and then we have some plants sticking up over here and I might actually get rid of a few of these um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to um, make the little bed area which is what this is for and for that you are going to need your colored piece of paper and your four popsicle sticks So I made the little bed over here and I didn't glue it down in case I ever want to take it out and change it. Um, I'm kind of messing with the bedding to see what I like. I tend to be keeping to make the pieces smaller rather than bigger. I just think they just fit better that way and look nicer. And now what I actually have done is I've actually removed the plants. I'm going to put them right here next to the bed instead of over in this corner. And then we are going to put the food dish, which is this big green one, over here. And I'm going to cut up little pieces of yellow um, contact paper and put it in there. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this craft. I really liked making it and Lulu seems to really like it as well. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!